and he's like what you did 300 pounds i was like yeah. hello everyone welcome back to my channel as seen at here with a new video and i promised you guys i was gonna do a new video of how i grew my glutes so as you can tell from the title this video is how i grew my glutes so are you excited let's get into it give you a little backstory of why I decided to grow my glutes I've always been the curvy type I've always had shape I've always had you know my little curves my hips were kind of just not flat they had like a little curve to them but they were not like fit in a sense I didn't have muscles there so I was proud of my proud of my body but I've always wanted to grow my glutes so at 2017, I tried everything. I tried all those workouts that you, um, with the, the jumping squats, what was it, the other one, in the gym, uh, the ones that you're like, you have like the, the barbell here and you're like, I don't know, I'll, I'll put up a representation of what it looks like. But I did all of that. I did the bridges, I did everything. I just didn't have the technique to actually grow my glutes. I did glutes are made out of th three muscles, which is the glute maximus, the glute medius, and the glute minimus. And I think we have another muscle there. I think it's a perfor perforus. I'll, I'll put it here so you guys can see. And those glute muscles, they need to be worked on differently. So different workouts. Um, and you gotta work them out separately. Glutes doesn't happen overnight. As we can see it's a muscle so the muscle needs time rest it needs a lot of components to be able to grow so some of us don't really know that back then we just thought that oh we'll do squats 100 squats a day and stuff like that and we'll grow we'll grow our glutes I was I was guilty I was one of them <laughs> I would do squats all the time but squats is just a, nor a normal form of exercise it's a very good exercise but it does not grow your glutes different exercises that with hip hinge movements and stuff that grow your glutes so of course I did not know that that being said 2017 I did all those crazy things 2018 too uh, I always wanted to grow my glutes I always did squats and stuff but it really didn't grow I would be like well what am I doing wrong so then after I had my baby, after I gave birth, I still had curves because babies, when after you have a baby, you get more curves, your hips grow, everything grows. Uh, but my glutes were deflated. I didn't work out for a whole year. I did not do anything, no type of workout. So there was no muscles, there was nothing. It was just deflated. I had very nice curves and I'll show pictures, but my glutes were not there. So what I decided to do is when I started my fitness journey, I wanted to like completely transform my body um, and I wanted to do it by exercise. So I decided to do research, I decided to see what is the, why isn't my glutes growing, I saw countless amounts of videos on YouTube. I did so much research. I saw glute experts on YouTube, everything. And I found some things that have worked for me. And we're going to start off with that. So the first thing that worked for me, and yes, this is so underrated, but it's so important, guys. Like you don't understand how important this is for you water <laughs> simple as that just water plain old water and that was one of the detrimental things that was happening to me that i could not see growth on my glutes because i was not drinking enough water i live in a upstate so it gets kind of cold and i just don't feel like drinking water at the moment so it's it's hard 
to like keep that count but i bought a gallon of water i've been drinking it little by little <laughs> i'll show you guys i i can't seem to find the top but yeah so it says it has all the 8 a.m 10 a.m right now i'm like at 6 p.m i'm drinking a lot of water today and what it does it plays a crucial function into encouraging muscle growth so if you're not drinking water that muscle is not going to grow it's just not going to grow. It's not going to appear to look bigger or anything like that. It says because it delivers the materials required for constructing protein and glycogen structures. So the body's main sources of energy, not only does it allow better freedom of movement, but also helps you build muscle good enough for flexing them. To just grow your muscles and appear them to look bigger. So water can keep muscles looking bigger and fuller. And if you're not drinking water, they can look like they've lost size, even though you're lifting heavy. If you're not drinking water, you're not going to see that amount of muscle growth or anything like that. It's not going to show up in your, in your muscle gains. So water is very, very important, guys. So keep hydrated. We need to drink water no matter what. You want a deflated glute or deflated muscles. So stay hydrated, guys. Second is creatine. Creatine is an adenosine triphosphate. I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. It is the most basic form of energy in your body cells. It plays a fundamental role in metabolism and muscle function. Creatine, I was a little bit scared to taking it as it makes you, it, it gives you water weight and nobody wants water weight. <laughs> But it's good water weight. It's not really bad water weight. And I think I've only gained maybe like three or four pounds of water weight. But it's not that bad because it all goes to my glutes and my muscles. So it's not that bad. I was taking creatine back last year in March when I started my fitness journey. And I'm still taking it. Uh, there's days that I forget and I don't take it. But... I take it religiously and it also helps you with working out so if you're exercising and lifting heavy it helps you with that it helps you with endurance it helps you just lift heavier and feel stronger third is progressive overload and going into failure progressive overload simply means that you're doing more over time that's what simply what progressive overload means and it's upping your reps upping your sets or upping your uh, weights. Progressive overload has been a major factor in my fitness journey because I started off with a barbell machine, which is a Smith machine. And I started off with 10, 10 pounds, like little 10 pounds is in each side. That's how I started off. Everyone's different. I started off with 10 pounds because I was afraid of my C-section and I just wanted to go lower. Although, I would do more reps. So it was light load, but I would do more reps in order to uh, progressive overload. I think right now I'm at 300 pounds that I'm lifting for um, hip thrust. I'm working it little by little. Uh, so hip thrust, that's what I'm doing for progressive overload. What I suggest you when you're doing progressive overload, don't, don't up the weight on every exercise that you're going to do. Um, that's actually a mistake that I did and I will be exhausted after because I really couldn't even do the exercises right. So what I suggest you to do is if you're doing progressive overload, right now I'm working on hip thrust. I started off with 225 pounds. Well, actually I started off with two tens. They were a little bit light, so I changed them to 25. And now I'm doing 300. So I've been going up, up, like every two weeks I up the weight. And that's what I've been doing. Um, for six weeks, I've been working on hip thrust. Right now I'm lifting like 600 of oh, 600 <laughs> i wish i'm lifting like 300 pounds it's something that it's in the mind and you just gotta be strong and say to yourself i can lift this uh i was doing the first time i did 300 i was so proud of myself i told my husband i was like oh my gosh i did 300 pounds um three plates of 45 like on the on the barbell machine and he's like what you did 300 pounds? I was like, yes. 
and the guy next to me that was working out he goes to, he goes up to me he's like that's impressive <laughs> Going to failure is very important. All these points are important, but going to failure is very important. If you feel like you cannot do one more weight, try to do it. Because most of the time when I feel like I cannot do one more one more weight, <laughs> sorry, one more rep, then most of the time I feel like no, I can't do this. I can't do this. And I try my hardest to do another rep, that's where the growth happens. Why? Because you're pushing yourself and you're tearing those muscles. So when you tear those muscles, they grow. So progressive overload and going to failure. Can't stress it enough, very important. So that's one of the reasons why it was so detrimental for me before, because I would work out but I would not do progressive overload. I was afraid of lifting heavy. And going to failure, I really wasn't going to failure. I was saying I was going to failure, but I wasn't going to failure. Going to failure, you feel like you're dying. <laughs> like, like my faces are not pretty when I go to failure. <laughs> they are not pretty, you feel like you're dying, you feel like it, that's it, you're done, tap out. <laughs> that's how it feels when you go to failure you need to eat protein protein is so important in order to grow your muscles I don't care what you eat just add protein to it and I just up my protein I also have like a protein shake sometimes with my meals and I like to eat protein in every meal just because that helps you grow your muscles I eat protein in my breakfast I eat protein in my lunch, I eat protein in my dinner, and my snacks. Always incorporate protein some way or another. I eat almost, I was eating 120 grams a day of protein, but you need to eat like more or less that, like 120 to 142 grams. Eating protein, but more whole foods. So not so much as protein shakes, as protein bars or stuff like that I've been eating more whole foods so like I'll give you an example tuna chicken steak mommy and a mommy is like my favorite thing in the world <laughs> I just heat those up put a little bit of uh, salt and avocado oil mmm really good thing is bulking I know a lot of people are scared of bulking I was one of them I was scared of bulking because I lost all that baby weight throughout those months and then I was gonna start bulking because I wanted to grow my muscles and I wanted I wanted to hit a goal I haven't hit that goal yet but um, I've been giving it time to my body my body needs to you know heal rest and stuff like that so I started bulking and let me tell you bulking is not for everybody if you don't want to do bulking, it's fine. I feel like it worked for me in a sense. And there were days that I feel like crap. I was like, ugh, I don't feel good. I, I feel fat. I feel bloated. But my glutes look amazing. <laughs> so right now I'm doing another program and I'll get into a video for that um, later on. Bulking is hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's not for everybody. It's not easy. You need to be mentally strong as well and just think that this is for the gains. This is what you wanted to do. And it's hard because I hardly eat. Before when I started my journey, before I had my daughter, everything like that, um, I would hardly eat. I had a very toxic um, relationship with food. I would barely eat. I was an anorexic but I was skinny I was very skinny and I would not eat and my gut was always messed up uh, I had to take collagen to restore my gut and that's when that's when I felt the worst my energy levels were down I was really really <laughs> in a bad state like um, if you're not eating enough, you don't have energy, you don't have anything to really work on because you're so tired. 
uh food is is fuel food is energy and i had to learn that by myself and i bulking is it has its its faces um i liked bulking in the sense that it made me look more voluptuous more curvy more like glutes grew and stuff like that and it helped me stay in that state because right now i'm doing something else um so yeah it does help it makes your muscles grow faster in a faster rate so it's not gonna take longer like if you were doing recomp and stuff like that but bulking it does help do you feel like uh you were maybe more bloated more with a little belly little pouch little stuff like that yes you grow fat everywhere bulking you have to do it for six months bulking for six months and it did help it helped me lift more it gave me more endurance more strength to lift more because i was eating more you know you need to uh let go of that fuel experience <laughs> bulking was an experience last but not least and we're gonna finish off with this in this video is rest rest yes rest and resting is so important guys Oh my gosh like you don't understand how important that is um, I went on a on a frenzy that I would work out six days out of the week seven days out of the week I was obsessed I really wanted to work out that's all I wanted to do I want to lift heavy it got to the point that I was tired um, my muscles were hurting I was not seeing growth so rest is very important if you want to take a week off you can you can't take a week off it's called a deload week so you can take that week off and just deload and for your muscles to heal and to grow where i saw the most growth is when i started resting i can't stress it enough but i just saw more growth when i started resting i remember i would miss maybe like two to three days out of the gym and i'll be like so stressed because i'm like oh my gosh i'm missing i'm missing my gains like where are my gains like and then i'll look at myself in the mirror and i'm like wait <laughs> why do i look like i have more muscles why why does my glutes look more uh, look like they have more volume and bigger and stuff and it's because you need to rest resting is very important when you are working out I did this real quick and i just found it um allows time for recovery specifically rest is essential for muscle growth exercise creates microscopic tears in your muscle tissue but during rest cells called fibroblasts repair it this helps the tissue heal and grow resulting in stronger muscles saying face is important too even though you're resting you still need to eat that protein you still need to drink that water because believe it or not that's gonna be a major factor um, of your muscle growth so those are the things that has helped my glutes grow please let me know down in the comments if you are growing your glutes what are you doing if you want to know more just write down in the comments and i'll respond to you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this video i will be making more videos of fitness and health and how my fitness journey is going please let me know down in the comments what type of videos you would like to see um i'm open to making new videos new ideas also don't forget to subscribe it's free so we're trying to grow this fitness community i want to help girls i want to help them uh, achieve their goals or feel beautiful or confident um so just if we can grow this community it will be amazing well thank you guys so much have a beautiful day see you in the next video